Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. Last week, the mainstream media once again underestimated. Uh, we have yet again another example of Joe Biden's weaponized Department of Justice targeting his top political opponent, Donald Trump. And this week, I want to highlight our oversight work on this two-tiered, fundamentally un-American system of justice. We will be hearing from credible IRS whistleblowers who have provided evidence showing how the Department of Justice interfered into the investigation investigation into Hunter Biden with a delay, divulge, and deny campaign that ultimately shielded and protected him. There cannot be one set of laws if your last name is Biden and another set of laws for law-abiding Americans. As I said, this is a two-tiered system of justice that is fundamentally un-American. Well, thank you, Whip. Uh, this is going to be another busy week. We're a House Republican. I understand they're scared of Donald Trump because he's the leading candidate, not just on the Republican side, uh, but you see more and more Democrats don't even want Joe Biden to be the Democrat nominee. They need to remove the politics from this. They need to stop uh, having this perception. And whether it's real or not, we have a committee looking into the weaponization of government. And unfortunately, there's example after example after example of the Biden administration weaponizing government against their political enemies. Uh, but it's created a problem within the country that people uh, people don't view justice as being administered fairly. Move forward on the agenda that we Just pointing out that it's interesting that the same week that you have this whistleblower coming forward to testify before three different congressional committees, you see once again, this isn't the only time it's happened, over and over again you see different attacks by the Biden administration against President Trump and there are many things that you've seen President Biden do. Again, the documents, you know, raiding Mar-a-Lago when you have documents behind locked doors with Secret Service, and yet when Joe Biden had documents in his garage, in some cases in public view, surely not in the same secured places as you had at Mar-a-Lago, there was no raid. Uh, and, and so it begs the question, are people being treated fairly?